A woman reported missing out of Cleveland was found dead in the backyard of a Wilkinsburg home on Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us. I'm Erica Stanish. KDKA's Erica Moke has been piecing this story together for us all day, and she joins us live outside Allegheny County Police Headquarters with what she's learned. Erica. Erica, good evening. Right now it is unclear how or even why Adriana Taylor ended up in Pittsburgh. Police here and in Cleveland aren't releasing many details tonight, but video you'll only see on KDK gives us a look at the night she was found. This is Hill Avenue in Wilkinsburg on Thanksgiving night through the lens of a nearby surveillance camera. It captured hours of police activity, but in the video obtained exclusively by KDK, take a look at this. You'll notice an official vehicle backs into the driveway to the side of a house before its headlights block the view of what's going on. According to a report from the Allegheny County Medical Examiner's Office, it was in the yard behind that house in the 800 block of Hill Avenue that this woman, 23-year-old Adriana Taylor, was found dead. A little over a week before, Taylor was officially listed as a missing person out of Cleveland. But police there say family hasn't seen or heard from her since October 8th. Neighbors who didn't want to go on camera say police, firefighters, and crime scene vehicles were on scene for hours. The surveillance video shows that official vehicle we pointed out to you pulling away nearly two and a half hours after it arrived. Now, according to the CBS affiliate in Cleveland, before she was reported missing, Taylor was living with a boyfriend in Cleveland. Again, there are still many questions tonight, including how that 23-year-old woman died. I have reached out to investigators in Cleveland, but I have not yet gotten clear answers to those questions. But as soon as we do find out more, we'll be sure to pass that information along to you. We're live tonight outside of Allegheny County Police Headquarters. Erica Moke, KDKA News.